All right, guys, so today we're reviewing the Nazgul Sentient Pickup Pair from none other than Seymour Duncan Pickups. This pickup pair has become huge among metal players around the world, and I'm wondering what the big fuss is about. So we'll see for real if this pickup pair is the best for metal, but you should stay to the end of the video because I have some really important buying advice when you try to get a pair of these bad boys. Let's get into it. So welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Nick. The Nazgul and Sentient are actually some pretty interesting pickups. On the surface, these pickups look awesome because they have that subdued look with the kind of dark pulls and the black lettering. So let's take an in-depth look at both these pickups and then I'll plug in and run them through some distortion and clean channels to give you a full spectrum kind of review of these two bad boys. Let's first talk about construction. The Nazgul has a large ceramic bar magnet and a nickel silver bottom. Also is vacuum wax potted to minimize the squeal. The Nazgul comes in both a G-spaced and a trim bucker F-spaced for you uh, Floyd users out there. This pickup was originally designed for a seven to eight string guitar. And it also comes with the option to have kind of like an active look with a black pickup cover on it. Now the Sentient was originally designed to complement the Nazgul, but also the Pegasus, which I'd say does a pretty damn good job. Now the Sentient sports an Alnico 5 bar magnet as opposed to a ceramic. It too has the nickel silver bottom and the vacuum wax potting to avoid squealing. Um, and this thing is really built for metal leads in the neck position. Like the Nazgul, this Johnny can come in six, seven, eight string variations and can also have that soap bar cover active look as well. All right, now let's talk about output. In the Seymour Duncan lineup, the Nazgul probably sits anywhere between the Black Winter and the Pegasus pickup. They're surprisingly balanced for being such a high output pickup. Great articulation, but also able to get muddy enough for like good growls and chugs. Now the Sentient is specifically a neck pickup. I personally say it's a moderate to high output pickup with a DCR hovering around 7.8K. This is a great compliment to a beast like the Nazgul because it adds some like distorted smoothness um, to leads like a metal pickup should. Something that seems to be a consistent highlight about this bad boy is that it seems to tolerate low tunings really well. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna plug in and play some riffage for you. Here we go. All right, so those sounded pretty good in my opinion. Now with the Nazgul, I did have to change in some of my plug-in settings and add a little bit more bass in mid. Before those adjustments, it sounded a little like tinny and hollow, but the adjustment really fixed that all up and it showed me that this pickup can be put into different plugins and pedals and still sound pretty good. Now the Sentient really made some of those leads sound pretty smooth and perfect. In my opinion, it's the best balance between like distortion and articulation in a neck pickup. Now something of note, to get the sound that I really wanted for like dive bombs and pinch harmonics, I really had to elevate the pickup to the strings pretty close. This just might be my personal experience and preference, but I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that. Okay guys, if you're interested in buying a Nazgul Sentient Pair, it's super important that you understand what you're buying. If you're going to buy these pickups as a pair, like in the same box, they're generally gonna both come as G-spaced. This means that the Nazgul in the set, the bridge pickup, is most likely not going to be a trim bucker. That means if you have a Floyd or an F-spaced guitar, the poles of the Nazgul aren't going to line up perfectly 
with the strings. If you need any help figuring out your guitar specific spacing, I do a video right here and I'll put the uh, link in the description. So if you need an F space Nazwell trim bucker, make sure you are getting that and usually you have to do that by buying the Sentient and Nazgul separate. All right guys, that's just my two cents on this pair. Let me know what you think. Let us know in the comments if you have a pair of these and what you think of them. I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping by and I will catch you later.